goodness. All right, so come on in. Based on what we learned talking to Red Green, we're going to extend that conversation. Take a knee, Canada. Here comes the panel. I love, uh, I love talking to a guy like Red because it's like, it's like sitting there talking to the, the sorts of men that I grew up with, this archetype of what a man used to be. And I think we all remember the great poet laureate of Canada, Kim Mitchell, when he talked about that's a man. Uh, but the definition has changed over the years. It's certainly changed. And I want to kind of explore that just a little bit. Steve Patterson's here. I mean, just the idea of that red-green type of man. Do you think mm. that those guys are prevalent in our culture today? I... I hope not, because I can't grow a beard, and that's an unfair advantage. They have things living in their beard, their homes for birds, and they're lucky, lucky bearded men. But uh, I think that it's, I think today's culture is a little bit more well-rounded. It used to be if you say you're going to build something, it means you're going to build, actually build something. Yeah. And now a man can build a social network. Uh, I, I can't do either, but I can more so not do a social network than a house. So, does it, is it, if someone says "be a man" in 2013, Patrick, what does that even mean? I, I, the only time I could think of even saying "be a man" to somebody is if someone was a shapeshifter and they were saying, "Should I be a man or a woman?" I'm, well, be a man. <laughs> you know, I, it makes it, it's such an archaic phrase; it makes no sense to me. I'm, yeah. I'm new to new to your planet. Sorry. How, now, how often does that come up, the shapeshifter conversation? At my house, a lot. <laughs> yeah. What about someone saying, I mean, be a man? Um, I think you're right. I think it is an archaic thing. Like, if somebody says to me, be a man, it's like, I have a fairly <coughs> masculine voice in the morning, especially, and I dress maybe mas... And maybe people are just saying, just take that final step. Just take the final step and be a man. It's a pretty big step, and, um, man. Yeah. Really? It's is actually it? a few steps. It's is a few steps. Guys, yeah. I know medical <laughs> do all stuff. Once. Okay, so uh, uh, for a lot of people, you grow up with images of manliness, and you think this is what you're supposed to aspire to, so I'll present an image. You tell me what you think of this oh. version okay. of manliness. So okay. take a look at this one right here. Okay. All right, so there you go. What do you think of that definition of manliness? Uh, I think then most men are grubby and uh, need to have a bath. <laughs> the neckerchief throws it off for me, I think. The if, neckerchief. If the neckerchief wasn't there, it would be a, a way different look. It's like but... it maybe a manly way of no. saying neckerchief. No. Neckerchiefs neckerchief. only belong on dogs named Rhodey. Like that's it. Yes. Like mixed mixed breed dogs with a red neckerchief. That's where it belongs. So you think? Well, if you've ever really been sweating a lot, and you know, um, I did some service by a freeway in Los Angeles once. Uh, you 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 could use a neckerchief. You did what? You did some service. I I yeah, just I did some, oh why did I say that? <laughs> I did some community service. Oh, for real? For, um, yes, for a minor infraction, but I don't. I think we're off topic. No, <laughs> no, that is that's good, super manly. Uh, Are you I, kidding me? I, 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 you almost oh, went to jail. It was jail, That's all right? 12 hours, um, clear-cutting, uh, you know, the, the side embankment of and throwing uh, branches up a hill. I was out there with gang members. My yeah. glasses fell off. They cracked. <laughs> it was like Lord of the Flies, all right? And I survived it. And it's all because I accidentally littered. All right. Yeah, get it out of your system. You got right. community service for littering. littering. 10 hours. And the, and the judge, you would have thought, Everyone that was coming up before him had done horrible things. He was like, oh, all right, you. I go up there, and he's like, community service, $300 fine. So um, for 10 hours or whatever it was that day, I was very manly indeed. So you're... <laughs> and I used a neckerchief. <laughs> I'm not sure whether that disproves or proves my point, but... I like to think it does. I just heard of a whole different thing when I heard service by the side of the road. All right. Well. How about this one, the go. modern one? My uh, friends who are women uh, and men love this guy, modern sexuality. Yeah. Patrick, is that it? Uh, yes, yes, closer. <laughs> <laughs> As he stumbles over the thoughts. I'm fine. Um, no, I mean, John is obviously very sexy. Of course, the character he plays is, is a psychopath, I think. He's, you know... Is that good or bad? Um, it depends. For a date, it's good. Yeah. For a relationship, it's very, very bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how about this picture here? This is the definition of a man. Captain... Oh, hey, man. He's got man oh, in his yeah. name. Caveman. Yeah. I think that actually symbolically is uh, what this whole be a man thing is about, which is don't be a woman, which is deny your feelings and dominate. Right. And I'm sorry to bring the room down. <laughs> so deny your feelings and dominate is wrong. I, I think so. Okay, I've been living this the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, uh, in terms of what makes manly behavior, and that changes over time and from culture to culture, but there's one common thread, I think, um, is that masculine equals good and strong and feminine doesn't so much right. and i think that thread goes through our language and our culture and you know it's uh, it's changing though and that's awesome all right stick around we're gonna go to the uh, the darker side of manning up when we come back
you know, sort of exploring our version of, of what it means to be a man in 2013 and what people want in a man. And sometimes, as, as, as much as you try to be as progressive as you can, you cut down all those trees of your own bias. Sometimes the roots run deep and you try to do things that you think a man ought to do. Have you ever had a big man moment, Steve, and then it just failed spectacularly? Uh, it's hard to pick just one. For sure. <laughs> for sure. I, uh, I grew up with four older brothers and they liked to fight. and. Uh, I would never uh, back down from a fight, but then when you have a, uh, uh, you know, when a girlfriend is with you or your wife is with you, it's not always the best move to just react to Especially that. Especially if your girlfriend is with you and your wife is with you. Yeah. That's it the worst. A... Then you're just a ref. Yeah. <laughs> it's, just a way, it's a way better moment. But... You're just a ref. I, you know what, I, I do like a man to be manly. We were talking about that. So like in the olden days, I did like a, a man to be like, like that would pick me up, I thought it was, but it was horrible because they would pick me up and they'd be like, oh my God, you're so heavy. <laughs> and I was like, well, who would do that? They actually said yeah. that? Yeah, because no. I was very tall for my age, you guys. I, I gotta say, in a, in a, in a, <laughs> a big boy. Very tall, lady. yeah, it was just the center of gravity. <laughs> yeah, or if they're like, oh, sit on my lap, and they're like, oh, my knee's starting to seize. That's and, not nice. No, it, but listen, it's just because you're dating older guys, that's <laughs> all. And at a, at a certain age, all of our knees My hips go. gone out. How about a hand for the panel, everybody? Patrick Bristol, by the way, is going to host Pump It Up, which starts on the 22nd of October. It's in Toronto at the Panasonic Theatre. you got to check it out. Naomi Seekins performing with the National Theatre of the World when she gets out of jail. That's September the 25th at the Drake in Toronto. And, of course, the great talent that is Steve Patterson. He's got a tour. This is not debatable. Comes to British Columbia in November. Go to stevepatterson.ca for all them details. I Normally, I would say good things, Canada, but do you want to sign off for us, please, Steve? I'll argue with you again soon, Canada. Good night!